Hey, 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 it's Evelyn and I am back with another video. And today I want to do my 10 year and probably my final video in my Life Without TV series. So um, if you've been on my channel for some time, many, many years ago, I did an experiment where I wanted to see if I could go 30 days without watching TV. And I did that one year and it was fine. And then I think the next year I went 90 days, you know, at the beginning of the year. So the first three months of the year to see what would life be like without TV. And then I remember I challenged myself to a year and uh, that year has now turned into 10 years. And so I just kind of want to do um, my 10 year update. I can't believe it's been 10 years, but in fact, it has. And it's interesting because when I did those videos on my channel, I never thought that they would take off the way they did. But I get comments quite frequently from videos from years ago talking about my life without TV. So um, I will say that some things have changed since I believe it was my seven year update. So there have been some changes, but um, let's just kind of get right into it. I am going to link or, or iCard or something to the previous videos in this series so you can kind of get the full backstory but the cliff notes version is just that there were, there were so many things on tv more specifically at that time 10 years ago in the commercials now it's like the content of the shows and the commercials that i just did not want to consume you know i'm someone who i'm very 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 intentional about my life and i'm also very very intentional about what i consume and I am someone who believes in guarding your ear gate and your eye gate. So I don't watch and or listen to just about anything. And I realized for me that there were a lot of things on TV um, that I saw at that time in commercials that didn't make me feel great as a person, right? And I won't go into all those details, but they, they didn't make me feel great. And one of the things I talk about in some of my previous updates is how much better I felt as a person when I stopped watching TV, which was like an interesting side effect, like I actually felt it in my body. So it was so strange. Um, as time has gone on, obviously I have watched TV, like if I'm traveling or if I'm at a hotel or if I'm at a friend's house or, or whatever. I, it's not that I haven't seen TV at all in 10 years, but I am amazed by one, what's allowed on TV these days, two, the content, the messages, the marketing messages. I mean, my goodness, there are so many things that I'm like, y'all really out here like that. So um, for me, I, I definitely wanted to unplug from that system. Okay, so let me kind of tell you where I'm at today. So I think one of the la one of my last updates, I think I didn't even have a TV. Currently, I have two TVs, which is funny because I did not purchase them. Um, one was a gift from my uncle when I moved not this last time, but the previous time he helped me move and he was like, oh, let me give you one of my TVs. <laughs> I was like, OK. And then another one was from my mother because she moved and she didn't want to. She's not a big TV watcher either. And so she was like, I'm just going to leave this TV here with you. So now I have two TVs <laughs> that I did not purchase um, and I use them to watch my YouTube videos. <laughs> so let me give you an update. A lot of times when people say they do life without TV, they're trying to talk about that they don't have cable. I also do not have cable and I also do not have streaming services. So some people's life without TV, and this is their definition, doesn't make it right or wrong or better or worse or anything like that, is that they don't have TV, but they do have streaming services. I do not have streaming services. I do not have Netflix. I do not have Hulu. Um, I think I can watch TV on Prime. I think I can watch shows on Prime, but I have Prime for the delivery. Um, I, 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 I don't... <laughs> I don't watch the things on Prime. Um, I don't know what the, all the other streaming. I don't have like Disney Plus. I don't have any of that, right? Currently, I do pay for YouTube to be ad free because that kind of goes back to my original point of not wanting to see um, ads. I don't. I, I really would prefer to um, have control over what I consume and what messages are being sent to me whatever they are. And so, yeah, um, it's funny because I tell this story and I think it's, I think it's in my first video or second video about life without TV, about how, when I moved into the place that I was living at the time, the gentleman was coming to hook up my internet. 
And he was like, I'm not hooking up your cable. And I was like, oh, no, I don't have cable. He was like, I was like, yeah, you know, I don't really watch TV. And he was like, what are you going to do with your time? Right. (laughs) But here's the thing, you know, when I really think about and this is actually no judgment. This is just this. Again, all this is personal preference. I am not saying that people who watch TV are bad or wrong or anything like that. I used to watch a lot of TV. For me, I looked at it. I was like, think about, you know, like an average day. Let's say somebody works a typical nine to five job. Let's say they get home. 5 36 o'clock let's say they eat dinner and let's say they're done eating dinner at like seven but let's say they don't go to bed at 10 30 so from seven to let's say say 10 and then maybe 30 minutes for a shower and getting ready for bed so from seven to ten they're watching tv now if we just do that monday through friday that's 15 hours worth of tv watching not including weekends so if, if we want to throw in weekends we're talking about 21 hours of consumption for me that's a part-time job like that <laughs> That's a lot of content to just be in, 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 in. And so for me, you know, I remember when he asked me, like, what are you going to do with my, your time? And I was like, oh, I can do a lot of things. I can read. I can work on my hobbies. I can this. I can work out. And I will tell you right now, what I do with my free time is a lot of things. Um, I spend a lot of time on experiences. So shows, um, concerts, ballets, theater, things like that. I also um, dance. Uh, three to four times a week, which I really, really love. So I'm doing anything from ballet to jazz to modern to African. And I love that. I also now am boxing a couple of times a week, not with the actual person because it's weird. I don't want to spar with an actual person, but I do like working it out, like doing the boxing with my trainer. I also do things like this is my hobby channel, right? So yes, I have my full-time business that I run. And then like I get to create content over here. Um, I spend it with my friends, like having dinner, going out to eat, reading, taking a nap, being out in nature. Um, I, it's, it's weird. The idea of sitting down for hours on end <laughs> every single day, like I, don't, I, I, like I don't know, for me, I just can't even imagine that, right? And so, you know... Um, to each his own. There's no right or wrong way um, to to live your life. But for me, I was like, if I really think about like what what really relaxes me or what do I really enjoy, nine times out of ten, sitting down watching hours upon hours upon hours upon hours of a show would be more of a default, not necessarily an intentional act of relaxation, if that makes sense, right? And so, um. Yeah, I it's weird because at this point I've been doing it so long that I don't I forget that I'm in the vast minority of people who don't watch a lot of shows until I'm in certain social situations and people are talking about shows or have you seen this? Have you seen this? And eventually after they ask me a couple times, I just have to tell them like, oh, I don't watch TV like and I haven't for a decade. Um, And it's interesting because it reminds me, ironically, of years ago when like there was the height of the natural hair movement. I remember there was a time where as a natural you could you could spot the natural you could be like okay I'm not the only one there's another one here right and then after a while it it started to become less noticeable and what I mean by that is that there were so many people who were natural that it was no longer like an odd woman out right like it was I was actually more surprised to see women with relaxed hair than I was to see women with natural hair at that time right and so now it's kind of like a mix. Like, I know I'm going to see natural hair. I know I'm going to see locks. I know I'm going to see wigs. I'm, I'm just going to see a mix. Okay. And so it, it's no longer something that I am consciously aware of. However, when it comes to, you know, living life without TV, I do have, I think I have like one friend where we're kind of on the same accord. I mean, I think she does have some streaming services, but they're not big device people. I'm probably a little bit more extreme in that route. Uh, that the only thing I do consume pretty much is YouTube videos. And what's interesting is I only watch about a handful of channels. So even if I wanted to sit and watch content for hours on end, these cre- I, they don't have enough content for me to, to consume, to watch for hours on end. Um, and the subject matter is very lighthearted. So I'm usually watching content around makeup and beauty, um, around fashion, home decor, um, personal development, lifestyle, things like that, right? Outside of that, you know, I'm not really consuming a lot. 
Um, some of the most frequently asked questions I get is about like the news. Even when I had a TV, I never watched the news and I'm never going to watch the news. For me, the news is super depressing. It, it is filled with violence and crime and murder and death and sickness and catastrophe and fear and all of that kind of stuff. And are those things real? Yes, they are. Are they happening in the world every day? Yes, they are. Do I want a steady diet of that every day? I sure don't. And here's the thing. What I have learned at this point after being 10 years without TV and a lifelong of a lifetime of not watching the news is with the invention of social media, I'm going to find out whether I want to or not. Am I going to go consciously seek it out to watch it? Not my personal preference, right? So yeah, that's probably one of the biggest questions that I get. And I figured I would wrap it up here. I really don't see my lifestyle around the consumption of television shows changing anytime soon um or at all i mean unless i married someone who was a big tv watcher and even then i've seen people who are not big tv watchers marry somebody who's a big tv watcher and the person who's not a big tv watcher is still not a big tv watcher right that's just that's just who i am that's just my that's just the way i choose to live my life i'm very very mindful about the messages, the imagery, the the subconscious thoughts that I let into my eye and my ear gates. You can call it deep, that's fine. You can call it over the top, that's fine. Who gonna check me? <laughs> I'm still gonna do it. And, um, you know, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Because I, I, have, I have lots of thoughts about the things that I see materialize in people's lives based on what they consume. And it's so it's so interesting because I think some people do not think that what they consume on a consistent basis um, through their eyes and ears it affects their lifestyle. But but we output what we consume. I mean, you want to think about that even physically. Whatever you consume is what's going to come out, right? Like you know, you ever you ever you know run into somebody or or worked out next to somebody in the gym and you could tell that they've had a lot of garlic. Right. It's because they consumed a lot of garlic. And so as they started to move, as we move through life, the aroma of garlic was coming through their pores. I feel the same way about what I consume via my eyes and via my ears that what I consume as I start to move through life. Right. Will come out. And so, you know, I knew someone who watched a lot of a certain type of show when it came to relationships, right? And then was so confused when her relationships followed that pattern. And she was like, I don't even know how I got here. This is not what I do. I, I'm normally not in this. Like, how did I get in these situations? But she had a very consistent diet of a certain type of show around relationships. And so she consumed that. And then she ended up living out, living it out, right? So, um, and I, I, I've just seen that time and time again. And, you know, listen, call it deep, call it woo-woo, call it what you want. I've got multiple data points um, that align with that belief. So anyway, it's not for everybody. I love it. I don't see myself going back anytime soon. Let me know in the comments below. Are you a TV watcher? Are you someone who has a lot of streaming services? Do you still have cable? Are you a non-TV watcher? Are you someone who's been thinking about doing life without TV? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what questions you have for me down below. Like I said, because it's now been 10 years, this will probably, this is going to be my last update. Just know if you come by my channel and you see this video, I'm still living a life without TV, mainly about, I should say, without television programming since I have been gifted to TVs. Oh, and I do want to say this. I am considering purchasing the Samsung frame TV, because I do prefer to watch my YouTube videos on a larger screen. It's just that because I consume so little content, it's almost like the ROI isn't there, right? Like I, it's like, I'm going to buy two TVs when I barely sit down and watch TV. I don't know. But um, if anything changes, it'll probably be that, which is at some point I will purchase some frame TVs to mount to the wall for aesthetic purposes. And, uh, but even then there won't be any cable, no streaming services, anything like that for me. And uh, yeah, y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I will see you in my next video. Peace.